الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتاب الكريم أفتر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم والذين كفروا وكذبوا بآياتنا أولئك أصحاب النار خالدين فيها وبئس المصير ما أصاب من مصيبة إلا بإذن الله ومن يؤمن بالله يهدي قلبه والله بكل شيء عليم وعطي الله وعطي الرسول فإن توليتم فإنما على رسولنا بلاغ مبين الله لا إله إلا هو وعلى الله فليتوكل المؤمنون الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم والذين كفروا بي وكذبوا بآياتنا those who disbelieve and deny our signs ولايك أصحاب النار those are the people of the hellfire and they'll be in it forever and what an evil destination subhanallah so don't think for a minute that those who deny the book in the sunnah are going to have success it's absolutely impossible Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes takfir of the kafirs so the kafirs are kafirs Ma sabah min musibatin illa bi idnillah, and there isn't a trial that befalls you except by the permission of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Everything that happens to you, it can only happen by the permission of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Doesn't mean that Allah wants bad for you, but Allah is testing you. Ma sabah min musibatin illa bi idnillah, wa may yu'min billah yahdi qalbu qalbu, and whoever believes in Allah, Allah will guide his heart. So believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He'll give you hidayah. So that means you have to really know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe, believe Him, tabarak wa ta'ala, and He will give you hidayah. May Allah guide us all to ikhlas with the bat ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahu bi kulli shayin alim. And Allah is all, ever aware of all that you do. He knows what, you're, what, what you do. And then Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, Wa ati'u allaha wa ati'u rasul. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger. That is proof for us, that's delil for us, that we have to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the sunnah is an authentic source, like the Qur'an is an authentic source, and the Qur'an is the speech of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. and the sunnah is wahi from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. ala tongue wa af'al an nabiyyina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. فَإِن تَوَلَيْتُمْ فَإِنَّمَا عَلَى رَسُولِنَا بَلَاغُ مُبِينَ If you turn away, then the, the Messenger وسلم, he was only there to deliver a message. He delivered the message. He's not responsible for whether you followed or not, whether you took disobedience or not, whether you took kufr or not. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishes tawheed, affirms his tawheed. Allahu la ilaha illahu. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Illa huwa, except Him. While Allah he fell yet mu'minun. And upon Allah, the mu'minun, the believers, they have tawakkal. They rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we mentioned tawakkal ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawakkal ala Allah. Ittimad ala Allah. Wa fi'la asbab. It means to make an effort for whatever you're trying to attain. And then putting your heart the result, your trust with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you'll be successful. For example, the one who seeks risk, they need money, they're homeless. Then what do they do? They go to strive to find a job. They strive to start business. They strive to do something that's going to bring in the risk. So they're making the effort and then they put their trust that their striving will be, uh, will come to fruit, fruition from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that means he goes to the job. He made an effort. He tried to get a job. But the result, will he get the job or not, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he puts his heart with Allah. I tried my best, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I dressed the part for the job. I made, you know, every effort to get the job. I'm putting my trust, my heart with you that it will happen. Not that, that oh, you look so good for the job. For sure you're going to get it left. You're putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You made the effort to the best of your ability. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.